explaining that two men, matching the description of the escapees, had attacked him, stolen his car, and kidnapped his girlfriend. Only his training in karate had saved his life, he claimed. This is a story about a scientist called Dr. Morphus and his two henchmen who were known only as the hitman and the driver. The doctor has been working on his new secret weapon, the Gunge Gun Mark III. Okay. Dean, whenever you've got that in your hand, dimensionalizer effect will be there, not there. Oh, yes. Good. Yes. Don't stand there expecting it. That's why you wanted to cross fade from last to just the chair. The chair. Because you... Oh no, we've cut this, sorry. We've cut this? As in, oh no. Okay, cool, so we end the song. We haven't cut this, but we're going to cut this song. Okay, so we end the song. Yes. And then, is that a blackout? That'll be a blackout, yeah. Um, the fact that everyone will halfway through the show figure out that I don't know what I'm doing, and I've been pretending this whole week, <laughs> and it's, they're going to get pissed off. That's right, I'll get out of here. I'm closest to the exits. So by the time they cotton on, I'll be at the train station. Dr. Morphus reasoned that if everyone in the world felt a world of pain, they would think twice before inflicting that pain on someone else. Remember your third degree burns, and remember when you slammed the car door on your recently fractured thumb, and remember your burst appendix, and remember all at once. Nasty.